Do you like this one? It's crazy kind of, but I'm thinking about replacing this plastic. It's because Eaton kept on going, saying that he saw a monster. And I'm like, that is the opposite of what I want. I do not want people to see a face in that. Does it look like a face now that I point it out? Or do you see it every time? Yeah. I have to change it. I have to fucking change it. <laughs> it's funny that some people would love that about it, you know? But not me. I only want there to be a fucking face if I say there's a fucking face, right? You know what I mean? Everything else, if it's just by, oh, just happened to be a face, no, fuck it then. Is it okay if this takes like 15 minutes? Cause I gotta actually take this piece cause it has the holes in it and then put rivets in it. And then you can get good footage of painting it up and shit. Okay, cool. So first we have to make sure there's not a fucking face in this one too. It's a little, little crazy to be doing this, but I love it. I mean, this is what you got to do, right? You got to be able to, to pivot. That's why we start early. This is the, the motherfucker, this part. Oh shit. Destroyed that one. What do you think of the panels in here? You think they look pretty good like this? Yeah. We don't, we were debating if we should have more lighting in here for like this one and you know, these, and we tried different things with lights and in the end we're just like, I think the natural light of the space is the way to go. What do you think should be the top and what should be the bottom? Heavier on top or heavier on bottom? In this, so like. Maybe this way. What do you think? Yeah? yeah. Okay. Please be the right size. It will work. Yo, is there a way to, yeah. Is there a way to turn the heat off in here? The heat? Yeah. It's too hot? Bro, I'm cooking. So basically the digital piece is the main difference from the UNI 1.0, right? No, I wouldn't say it's the main difference at all. It's, it's one of, it's a, it's a huge addition, but this entire show is the dark version of the first you and I. So in, in so many more ways than just adding a piece, is it different than the first installation? The first installation was super bright in a museum type space. And this is uh, this one feels like a rave. It's one of my first like uh, important animated works. I can't say digital because I do a lot of digital work, but as far as animation, this is the most significant animation I've ever done. So we spent a long time working on this piece, me and the value art CGI team, really wanting to destroy that whole concept of physical versus digital or digital versus physical. For me, it's physical plus digital. Anyone who's limiting themselves to one or the other or trying to take a side in that, it's just limiting themselves. Cut. <laughs> Was that good, you think? You got yeah, enough yeah. to cut together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about this box? The gallery, the gallery. Man, I mean, to me, this is the, the hugest 
evolution in my uh, practice and also the way I exhibit is that now I'm showing <laughs> people are just as interested, maybe more interested in these making of videos than they are in the physical pieces. You know what I mean? It makes you wonder about the future. Can I sell these videos instead of the panels now? Yeah, yeah. Right? And then we have the footage of, uh, of you and I in Los Angeles over here. This is, I wish we could have flown this here. But it's, you get the idea, right? Yeah. This piece still? The middle screen is an overview of kind of the main room of the show. So what's really cool is it doesn't leave anything to the imagination for the viewer if we're saying like this is a, somehow a representation of the show in LA but it's so different. Like you don't have to take my word for it. You can just see the screen here. That's, this is the show in Los Angeles. And then you can walk in the next room and see, you can see the difference for yourself. You don't need to ask me. You can see what it turned into. You can see that it's meaningful change, not a faint representation of the original. And then the icing on the cake is when you come behind and you see the 3D piece in the back, the collaboration with the Value Art team, showing side by side something so pristine and clean with something so messy as a, a small representation of my Lugano studio, which has also acted as my studio while working in here. <laughs> so it's not, this isn't even just for show. As you saw today, Georgia, <laughs> it became my, 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 uh, my proxy studio in the gallery, which uh, viewers are going to be able to come in and stand here. We'll have a chain that doesn't allow you to walk back, but as, a, as an installation, which I've realized is actually uh, not a ripoff, but I was inspired much by the Masi Museum. I saw an installation at the Masi Museum where they were reproducing a uh, painting or they were fixing a painting. What do you call it? Restoring. Restoring. They were doing restoration and they just had a chain across the room so you could walk in and view. That's crazy. Cut.